the usual uh, number of pages for a speech uh, prepared by my staff. Uh, the long pages na po. So it took me about two hours in coming over here and to deliver uh, a speech of a minute and a half. Uh, parang kayo yung niluloko ko, ako yung niluloko ninyo. Depende na lang sa tingin ninyo niyan dito. But uh, 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 maybe if we have time, this is a well-written speech. But there are so many things uh, in my heart that I need to unburden before the before you. Alam mo, uh, it's my first time na nakakahilo um, pala itong puta. <laughs> if it starts moving, ano ito? Ay, kikita ko lang ito sa TV. And uh, my experience with businessmen that I was invited uh, during the campaign to talk before the illustrious idiots. Tapos sinabi ko na, eh ako pa naman, uh, I'm just a provinciano. Uh, I took up law to really specialize in criminal law. Kasi may inclination kasi ako ng criminal mind so that I'd be better to assess myself when it is there. Sabi ko, I'm not a businessman. I've never been interested in business. All my life is I wanted to be a lawyer, just like my father, and a prosecutor. So right after I graduated, I went back because my mother was widowed very early in life. So I had to go home to help my mother run the business. And at the same time, had to stop for a while to help her tide things over. But I really was uh, bent on taking up law. And uh, totoo naman, ang mga subjects ko na matataas, even when I was a student, uh, criminal law, pati nasa bar. So every time I'm whether in Davao or anywhere, and for the first time in a big league uh, like Manila, I'd always give them the warning that hindi po ako negosyante at ayaw na ayaw ko yung baski yung legal accounting. Bakit ba yung subject na? Maglagay ka dito, expenses, 500, debit, credit, 500. But we doubly doubly run eh, yung expense ilista mo, tapos yung gastos ilista mo. So, eh, but it was never interesting that kind of hula balo. So, eh, doon sa, I won't mention the uh, entity. Uh, Nag-warning nag na ako na sabi ko, uh, if you want to talk about uh, criminal law, criminal law, tax, taxation maybe, uh, dyan ako mahusay. Prosecution in court, but I've been a trial lawyer for 10 years. Pero kung sa negosyo itong ganito, well, stocks, I have my corporation law kami. At nagturo ako minsan sa Davao, just one semester kasi hindi ko nagustuhan. And then I was talking about the typical Philippine scene, and what ails this country. It's not only about money, it's about improving the landscape, improving the economic, social, and what is really pulling us down until now is the prevalence of corruption. Yun ang tinitira ko doon sa speech ko, that uh, I was also worried about the drugs and the the allied crimes uh, on, until now. Hindi pagkatapos ng speech ko, I was reading the newspapers the following day at sabi noong presidente noong club na yun, uh, I was just talking about business uh, on the surface. Uh, nothing about... Eh, alam mo, pag niyaya mo ako, do not comment. 
Oh, yun, ikaw dito, presidente ka ngayon, tapos tatanong yung kaboka sa, how did uh, Duterte fare yesterday? Eh, walang sinabi kung hindi yung krimen. No? Wala namang sinabi sa business. Eh, sabi ko, putang ina mo, sinabi ko na sa iyo na hindi ako marunong. Ngayon, dadaldal ka na dyan, dadaldal na. Putang, masampal kita. I told you so. I was very honest. I am really very honest. Why? Because I really find no objection in life to tell a lie. Yan ang sakit. And ako magsinungan. Ba't ang magsinungaling? Is there a duty, a mandate to me to lie? I'll just give you the truth and that's it. Yan ang nakuha ko sa nanay ko. Kasi nanay ko, pag hindi ka magsabi ng totoo, hindi maghinto ng palo. But you just have to tell the truth. Grabe yun. Eh, kung buhay pa yun, demanda ko ng child abuse yun. Grabe ang inabot ko doon. So, ngayon, sabihin mo sa akin, ano, it might just sound sometimes vulgar or uh, out of the line. But, uh, magsasabihin talaga, ano totoo? Pag sinabi mo, pinatay mo daw, ano totoo? So, ganun lang. Uh, kasi itong I remember, dito sa Phoenix. It was just on its uh, early wobbly thing starting to do business in the Philippines. And yet, at, as, at, as early as at that time, they were already buffeted by so many issues. One was really the smuggling down on diesel or pasta oil. So, pumunta siya sa akin. Sabi ko na ito ba totohanan? Tell me the truth. Ikaw ba dito walang sabit? Tapos na wala talaga, Mayor. Is this above board all the way? Above board ko yan. So tinawagan ko yung customs. Sabi ko na, alam mo, yung mga taga-dabaw na maliliit, kaka-umpisa lang. Huwag ninyong, kung hindi mo humurahin ko kayo dyan, I'll go to Manila, I'll go to your office and bullshit you in front of the public. Sinabi ko talaga sa ulul na yun. So, sabi ko, kung gusto ninyo, you file a case. Sabi niya, well, well, go, go ahead. Huwag kayong maghingi, you file a case. And uh, in the fullness of God's time, it was uh, decided in his favor. Kaya alam ko yung dito tayo sa shift sa corruption. Ako po ay eh, hindi naman mayaman, hindi naman ako mahirap. Average uh, mother, father, teacher. No? My mother was a retired supervisor sa education department. Kami ho ay lumaki na always uh, there's uh, such a thing as uh, honesty. Katang individual tao naman kanya-kanyang diskarte as you grow. But they've always, uh, I'm, I'm not trying to pull my own chair or something. You know, my father was governor for the longest time in Davao. There are now so many local government units. You have the Badal Sur, the Norte Oriental, Occidental, the New Habikumbal Valley, and Davao City. It used to be one big territory. Uh, the last governor of the undivided Davao was my father. When he died, pinaghati-hati uh, nila. And the government, Mr. Marcos, went to a gerrymandering. So the north was given to the Bulanos and to uh, Florendo. Oriental was given to Rabat. Uh, ito namang sa Del Sur was uh, given to Cohanco and Almendras. And Davao City remained in the control of Mayor Lopez kasi brad niya si Mr. Marcos sa uh, fraternity. So ganun ang nangyari. But Nasabi ko lang na I am not new to the trappings of power. And I grew up with power. And ako naman, 
I am not really the, the, the most honest. Kung, kung maghanap ko ng demo with a lamp, with a lamp light, mal, malalampasan mo talaga ako. But uh, I have the barest minimum of uh, how it is to be in government. I took it after my father. So, nung mayor ako, I was mayor for 23 years in Davao. Yun talaga ang sinunod ko. I was a congressman for four years, uh, three years, and then uh, a vice mayor to my daughter. Yung nanuntok ng sirep, si Inday, uh, she's now back to being mayor. And she has, uh, if she had not had the temerity to run also for mayor again, I would not be president. Kasi I was not ready to let go of Davao at that time. Sinabi ko mag Tatakbo na ako na presidente pag anak ko. Not because I want to perpetuate our bloodline. It's not that. Pero kasi ang, as they say in politics, it's all local. Alam mo, pag hindi mo talaga sigurado ang papasahan mo na tao, sayang yung, sayang yung pagod mo for 23 years na You know, from scratches, from uh, a very top sector with the place. Naging, Davao is earning, would you believe it, 9% growth rate. Uh, lahat naman kayo napunta ng Davao. Tingnan ninyo ang Davao. See what, uh, if people just obey the laws. Yung, but on the other side, yung sabi nilang dark side ko, which is really the brightest light for all of you, is I insisted on, just, wala ba naman yung heaven, but the barest minimum of uh, honesty in government, and I pe process papers for three days, ako ano kumpisa na, kaya nga to dito. Dito I'm trying appeal ako sa corruption dito sa gobyerno. But little by little, uh, mayayari ko ito. Uh, I think what really pulled us down all throughout the years was corruption in government. Yan ang gusto kong mawala. Kaya ako, I'd rather na makilala ninyo ako or my aid or my co-workers in government na pag may kunting kalukuhan, Or if there's a shakedown there somewhere, and if you think that you can negotiate more fairly with government, do not enter into itong mga ano ito. Wala itong yung iba dyan talaga magnanako. I formed a cabinet one month after I fired a director, I fired a cabinet member. In the cabinet meeting, talagang binulsyad ko for being dishonest and lying to his teeth in front of me. That's, that, that's what the man may go to. Harap harap na buying a fire truck in Austria for 18 million a piece. And I have been warning the cabinet not to use 16 sabi ko, huwag yan because napaka-corny niyan. Hindi lang ninyo alam, every time you get down there sa Makati, sa Mar, ang tao nakatingin sa inyo, kung mabasa mo lang yung isip nila, nasusuka. So, I, uh, congressman, senator, bahala sila. Separate eh. Presidency, then you have the legislative, and then you have the judiciary. Dito lang ako pwede makialam sa uh, presidency. So lahat dyan na appointed ko, kaya kong paalisin anytime. Pero yung local government officials who are elected by the people, supervision lang dyan ako, not control. Unlike dito sa department ko, a decision of a cabinet member or a director for that matter, kaya kung i-overrun, come up with a different opinion. 
Kung dito ako maka-discard ka. Mga kayong mga guberno, any the slightest termination of uh, grab, sabihin mo na kaagad, alam mo ninyo, hindi ko kaya talaga ako lang. Ang makahinto ng corruption sa guberno, kayo lang, sa totoo lang. All you have to do is pag maghingi, sabihin mo lang, ito, basto sana. Putang ina mo, bakit ako magbayad sa iyo? Na yung binabayad ko lahat ng... Uh, bakit, ano pa bakit ako magbayad sa iyo? You assess me correctly again. And I'll pay government, not you. Yan kasi ang karamihan. Pardon me. I do not want to offend anybody. Yan, PIR, customs. O sige, maghagel ka na lang. Half the price, okay. Half the price, yung kalahati doon sa guberno, kalahati sa kanil. Sayang. Kasi kung sabihin mo lang, you assess me correctly. At pag niloko ka, or if you are not satisfied, all you have to do is call 888. And you can call anybody here. And ask for an appointment, and I'd be glad to face you and give you about 50 minutes of coffee time, and just tell me the truth. And I will fire. I am hindi ako mahilig mag-suspend, suspend. Yung taga-dabaw na kasama ko, who was with me since 1988 when I became mayor, fired him for, yung magpaparinig lang. Okay, kung ano nang panag-usapan ninyo, sa aid ko, yun na yun. So, what that does mean? Obviously, kung hindi ka bobo, alam, alam mo na kung anong ibig sabihin niya. So, hindi, hindi talaga pwede sa akin yan kasi ayaw ko. Baski lang naman sa panahon ko, uh, ako, probinsyano, at least sa panahon ko, ma-minimize ko lang naman, if not totally, Improve the economy by cutting first on, I said, what fundamentally ails this country, and that is corruption. Now, I am facing with so many problems. Hindi ko na lang siguro pakilala-kilala naman niyo sila lahat. Ako ang hindi niyo kilala kasi hindi naman ako punta rito. My world is different. My world is different. Dito ako sa, maasahan ninyo ako sa law and order. Maasahan ninyo ako dyan sa yung mga tight fix. I am not the type na makati magpunta dito sa opisina, solve problems. I am more of sa field than solving problems. Like, for example, killing people. Sabi ng human rights. You know, when Davao pagkatapos ng martial law was really very, very lawless. Mandoon yung lahat, because lahat ng alsamasa, lahat ng tamdik and hari who said na anti-kame sila, were given guns. And I tell you for the first time, yung paltik na yun were manufactured inside military camps. So, after martial law, there were a lot of firearms in the hands of people. So, the problem was how to soak them back to the control of government. Yung hindi ko nadala, yung ayaw ko na, yun talaga. So, I came up with a sloganeering. I said, do not destroy my city. I'm, I'm, I'm trying hard to rebuild this city. Do not destroy kung anong nagawa ko. The little things that I have improved on our lives, in our lives. Do not destroy the young of this country because I will kill you. So, ang dabaw, yung naniwala, nabuhay. Eh, siyempre, yung hindi na wala, namatay. Uh, that's the logical 
Ngayon, nung na-presidente ako, if you remember, I said it one time, that if I win, please do not destroy my country. It's very poor, people are suffering. There's not the slightest uh, light at the end of the tunnel that there's future for this country. We'll try to break uh, this uh, thing of uh, what's stopping us. And then again I said, do not destroy my country, please. On bended knees, Sinabigan. On bended knees, I ask you now, kayong mga kriminal lahat, do not destroy my country and do not destroy the young of the community. Alam mo, hindi ako milyonaryo. Kayo dito, trabahante, meron kayong good savings but not really enough. We work for the education at ang ano natin sa mga anak. Wala tayo, may kundi tayong savings enough to, for a vacation for those who are better off. You go to America, then you try to, o oh, anak, pag, uh, baka wala na kami, at least on your, in your lifetime, nakatikim kayo ng Europe, ganon. Pero all the rest of humanity outside of this building down there, wala yan. And ako, Mayor na, pero mga one year sa hospital. All the best. All the best that St. Luke will, uh, can provide. Pero kikita ang St. Luke dyan. Ah. Pero one year ako dyan, okay pa. I can, oh, the, the best medical care. But after one year, hanggang dyan lang ang pera ko. I'm just giving to you. Eh. Pero araw, Clean bedding, linen, and everything. Maybe it's sweet. But after one year, uh, o yung walang ganun, yung hindi naging presidente, yung hindi naging mayor, putang ina, sino magbibili ng medisina sa mga ito? Who would buy their medicines, the antibiotic, the anti-cancer, which cost us mga 7,000, 8,000 per tablet? Sino magbili sa kanilang oxygen? Sino magsubok ng pagkain sa kanilang bunga? Mga anak natin. Kaya natin pinapaaral. Most of the experience, sinasangda pa yung na-acquire na property na mag-down payment ka dyan sa subdivision, hoping that someday when you retire, you can build it. Or in the middle of, um, if there's any progress in your... Ganun. Okay. Kung mayaman, walang problema. Oh, hindi ako nakikialam dyan sa mga anak ng mayang mayang. Sino pa kamatay kayo? The better. Pero huwag yung mayang maliliit. Ang problema ganito, may pare ba dito? Ganito yan eh. Ako fiscal. We are trained to be impartial. So we prosecute all the persons who appear to be responsible for a crime. That's the rule of the mga abogado. So I am dealing with an apparatus international ito. And most of them really are running the show from China. And they have a real-time video there. And they can always call you and say, deliver mo dyan, yan, 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 tindahan, yan. Focus dito ka sa Divisoria Banda. And they would transfer their uh, camera there. Kung nakita mo yan, dyan mo ihulog. Yung iba naman, they are cooking shabu in the high seas. Then pag naluto na, they go to the territorial waters or as near as they can get there. Tapos ihulog nila. May GPS. In Marawi, they were cooking shabu like nobody's business. Because they were funding the terrorists. So I'm facing France, Shabu, both the terrorists, itong mga negosyante, tapos itong NPA, na hindi ko maintindihan, blowing hot and cold, tapos itong MIMN, plus the terrorists, 
ISIS na yan. The terrorists in the Philippines are ISIS. Yon ang una ko. At nandito man sila, uh, General Esperon and the rest of the military guys. During the first command conference, when we were talking about of the so many problems of the Philippines, uh, at the end of it, speaker, sinabi ko, you know, talking about drugs and but there is something looming ahead the dark clouds of terrorism tanungin ninyo yan sila sabi ko it will come prepare for that on the dot ako because Shabu was being cooked may oversupply na hindi na ito maubos ko dito lang kasi yung kanila parang miso na eh talagang parang nitong sa arayat yeah, that more than sabi ko, do not destroy the young and do not destroy. Because, kung may siyabo dito, wala naman mang distribute dito sa baba. Eh, wala yan. Kung may mga distributor naman, tapos wala namang siyabo na luluto, eh, wala rin yan. So, it's an apparatus. The, the apparatus consists of the bullshit, the billionaires, and the poor ones in Tondo. Or what am I supposed to do? Because I have to destroy everybody. When you destroy an apparat apparatus, you have to cut and even the tentacles. However insignificant it may be, you just have to destroy them. That's what I told everybody. I'm telling you now, and I'm sorry. Eh kung mahirap, ba't mo pinabahirap pa tayo? Walang magawa. Yan nga ang ayaw ko sa trabaho ko. I have to kill everybody. Pero sino ba may gustong pumatay ng tao na walang kasalanan? That's why for the, for the first time nakita ninyo, ako na yung politiko nagmura sa pinutang ina ko, pati yung mga obispo. Pati ako lang, ako lang ang politiko nagmura. Diyan sa inquirer na yan, sa ABS, ang potang ina niya magmukha ko yung pera, let's say kayo. Totoo naman. Ano man makuha nila sa akin? Sabi nga nila nung itong ABS, basura. Ito, ito, niwala sila kay Trillanes, isa pang hopeless. 211 million. Sabi ko, hindi totoo yan. Noong nagpresidente ako, sabi ko, sige, ako na ang presidente yan. Kalkalin ninyo ang buong Pilipinas. Bangko, pag may nakita kayo, basta ikalahati, I will step down as president. Mahanap lang kayo, basta ikalahati niyan. Huwag nga kalahati eh. Bigyan mo, one port niyan. Pakita mo sa akin sa Bangko Central, itong putang inang amla na to, ba't tamad-tamad niyo? Sabi ko galing sa inyo yan eh, let's check kayo. Kaya galit ako sa mga hindi ko pa nakita. Nandito ba? <laughs> Sampal pa kita eh. eh. Mahilig talaga ako ng pal ng tao. Yan ang totoo. Eh, do you like it or not? Ganun ako. Eh ngayon, ako na ang presidente. Ako na nakuto sa inyo. Sige, maghanap kayo dyan. Kaya ako, kaya ko magbastos ng tao kasi wala kang masilip sa akin. Babae? Tatlo lang naman yan. May yung, baka yung presidente niya dito, apat pa. Uh, yung, vice yung vice president na lang, kung hindi yung president niya. Sa drama, huwag na tayo magdrama. Lahat man tayo. We all have feet of clay. That's the problem. How deep you are stuck in that mud. But we all tread with the feet of clay. So yan ang ano ko. I, I, I hope that uh, uh, things can uh, I need about uh, 15 more days. Ang, hindi lang kasi ba't nahirapan tayo. We knew that uh, there were uh, 
source nandoon na lang but ang hindi ko talaga alam at baka siguro hindi talaga rin namin na miss ano namin is karami ng armas anak ka hindi maubusan this is the 45th 46th day hindi maubos-ubos ang lalo na yung grenades yung ipasok dito sa yung armalite may tube yan it's a grenade but it's uh, fired from a rifle so marami akong well, that's why I'm not in really in uh, in, uh, in in not my usual equanimity kasi alam mo bakit you want to know the truth kasi ako yung nag-declare ng Marcelo. And I was the one who ordered the armed forces and the police to go there and fight and die. Kaya gusto ko talagang pumunta doon. The other day I attempted again, but Marawi is always a rainy place. I was circling Marawi. I could not land. I could not go down nearer baka matsambahan kami ng barret na caliber 50 pag tinamaan yung gasolina niya, sasabog talaga yan but I really wanted to be there, to be just with the fighting security forces basta yung magpakita lang doon o basta yung matamaan basta dito lang sa puwet, huwag lang sa harap sa likod sa puwet, wala yung buto lang yan dyan. I, I'll try again. Not because it's not progadas. It's just, uh, ayaw ko magpunta doon na peaceful na. Gusto ko pumunta doon na, hindi naman ako maipasubo na sundalo na really. Basta ilayo lang ako ng konti. Basta they want to, to be there while there is still fighting so that I can observe. Uh, but uh, I'll try to make it again this week. Uh, tignan ko kung... But palagay ko 10 to 15 days. Uh, okay na. Uh, but remember, the new scourge is ISIS. It will continue to haunt us uh, because of our Muslim brothers and sisters. Now, do not get me wrong. I always say this so that you'd understand what I'm saying. Ang nanay ko maranaw. Ang nanay niya maranaw. Lolo ko Chinese. But my father was a Cebuano from Danao. Cebu. So, kung wala ko mga ano may let's say, moro guy here, do not be offended by this thing. I am immoral also. Pero, it's a hard... May I just read it? It's what? To give justice to the fellow who wrote this. I congratulate Phoenix uh, Petroleum Philippines Incorporated for its 10th listing anniversary. As mayor of Davao City, I personally witnessed how it grew from a single gasoline station in the city into one of the fastest growing oil companies in the Philippines. I am also grateful that you continue to share your success by spreading social civic programs for the benefit of local communities. In return, we in government are trying our best to create an environment conducive to investment and establish a harmonious working relationship with investors. As a result, any new player in the downstream oil industry, in fact, in any industry, can make it big and succeed. We also continue to institute reforms and implement policies that will that so that economic growth becomes more sustainable. This is part of our mission of reassuring shareholders that they do business in the Philippines with ease. As you celebrate a significant milestone, I wish the company continued success. For inspiring story exemplifies the resilience of the Filipino entrepreneurial spirit. 
It is my hope, and it will, uh, it will encourage other companies to invest in the stock exchange, especially aspiring businessmen. May the ringing of the opening bell realize the potentials of a strong and growing economy and open up more opportunities for our stakeholders. This will allow better wealth distribution and lessen the inequality we experience today. Remember, our entrepreneurs are the backbone of a strong and competitive economy. As agents of change, I ask each of you to be more partners in realizing our goal of providing a comfortable lifetime for every Filipino. Join us in making this nation more inclusive in the coming years. Mabuhay ang Fitix Petroleum. <laughs>